Welcome to our video on statistical modeling. Today we're tackling a question that many R users encounter. How can we get Stargazer to display clustered standard errors for linear models? Our viewer is looking for a way to compute these clustered standard errors, similar to how we handle heteroscedasticity robust standard errors using the sandwich package. They want to cluster by firm while using the LM function for their regression models, and they're also dealing with some NA values. Let's explore this question and find a solution together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To display clustered standard errors in Stargazer for your linear models, we first need to load the necessary packages. Start by loading the LM test and multi-way VCOV packages. Next, we will load our dataset. For this example, we will use the Peterson dataset. You can load it using the data function. Now let's create our linear models using the LM function. We will create two models, one with the variable x and another with both x and a new variable z. After creating the models, we will compute the clustered standard errors using the cluster VHA function. Make sure to specify the clustering variable, which in this case is Fermid for the first model. Finally, we will use Stargazer to display the results. Pass the models and the clustered standard errors to the Stargazer function. Note that you will need to manually enter the F statistics from the wall test output. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To calculate cluster robust standard errors, the user recommends using the LFE package instead of LM. You can specify the cluster directly in your regression model. The clustered standard errors will be generated automatically and Stargazer will report them correctly. For microeconometric analysis, the FELM function is highly recommended. It allows easy specification of fixed effects and instrumental variables. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.